Hi everyone, Miss Hudson here, and I'm going to read you a page from Women in Science, 50 Fearless Pioneers Who Changed the World, written and illustrated by Rachel Ignatovsky. I'm going to read to you today about Hertha Ayrton. She was an engineer, mathematician, and inventor. In 1854, Phoebe Sarah Marks was born in England. She was so energetic that her friends nicknamed her Hertha after a German earth goddess, a name she liked so much that she adopted it. Hertha was definitely the type to live life on her own terms. Hertha's family was very poor, so at 16, instead of pursuing her passion to go to a university, she worked as a governess to send money home. Fortunately, she met Madame Bodichon, the, a leader of the suffragist movement in the UK, who would help Hertha and pay for her education. In technical school, she met Professor William Ayrton, who would become her husband and partner in invention. In the 1890s, awful flickering and hissing electric arcs were used for streetlights and lighting in theaters. William and Hertha wanted to improve the lighting technology to make something quieter. At one point in the invention process, all of their notes accidentally burned in the fireplace and Hertha had to start over from scratch. While William was away, she invented a new rod that made a clean and quiet bright light. Hertha burst open doors for women by getting published and giving lectures on electricity. During demonstrations about the arc, people were amazed to see a woman wielding such dangerous looking equipment. She was the first female member of the Institution of Electrical Engineers. However, women were not allowed to speak at the Royal Society. When her book, The Electric Arc, was published in 1902, it became too successful to ignore, and the Royal Society eventually allowed her to present her own paper. In 1906, they also awarded her the Hughes Medal for her body of work concerning electricity. Hertha was also fearless when it came to politics. She was a vocal advocate of the suffragist movement and provided aid to female protesters on hunger strikes. Hertha participated in the 1911 boycott of England's census and wrote an impassioned letter on the form demanding the vote for women. Hertha's genius paved the way for women everywhere to play with dangerous machinery and invent great things. She was good friends with Marie Curie. She registered 26 patents. Wow. All right. Thanks for reading with me today about Hertha Ayrton, who was a woman in science. Bye-bye.